Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about Next.js get URL parameters. For example, in some cases, we will be sending parameters on the URL, okay, like dynamic values. For example, if you want to get a particular values of a particular ID, then we will be using a get URL with parameters. So, how we can achieve the same thing in Next.js? Let me go here, and what we'll do is we'll just create something like a new folder called as ID which is a dynamic ID I want to get an dynamic ID and inside this I'll create one more route because I want to get the route from users slash ID whatever the ID I'm passing for this users and that should be triggered over here so that's how we will be using and now what I'll do is I'll use something like export and I want to use an async function so let me use a function which is async and the function name is something like get but this time this is get by id because we are creating a route dot ts inside an id so let me return some normal response like json dot stringify of i am ready and save this now what i want to do is i want to receive the data from this url so that we can use something like a request which is something like next request and I will be getting a parameters in the second method or second parameter we will be getting this particular ID so how I can get that ID is it's very simple we will be getting inside the params so for now I am using this params as any so let me write and console console.log of params so you will be getting a second parameter inside that parameter you can get all the parameters related to our ui or the request so let me save this now first we need to see this params so let me go here and now let me create one more request let me click on this and uh, here i'll use the same thing copy and paste this time again it is also a get but this time i want to get a specific number so the id whatever we have i am just posting that particular id and let me give the id as this metadata having two so i'm passing an id as two so now let me go here and select the get and also let me hit this now we got I am ready and let me go here. What is the params? You are getting the param with an ID. Where this ID is coming from? ID is coming from the folder name. So whenever you get that folder with the parameters, then I can expect this as an ID of string. And that is an object again, okay, which is something like this, just for typecasting or just to make our application strictly typed. So now what I am doing is params.id. So this params.id will be our actual ID. That is the ID is 2. So now what I want to do is I want to get this ID from our metadata. So what is our metadata? I can use const filtered data is equal to. This time I will use users dot filter and I want to filter obj that is an object with let me consider as any we don't have an interface as of now so i'm using any and what it does is i'll get an id from this and that id should be equivalent to the parameter whatever we have so this is my id but whatever the parameter you are receiving from the url that will be a string type so let me make it as parse so that it will become a number so now number is compared with number and you will be getting a filtered data so what i'll do with this filter data so in general as we are using filter we'll be getting like this or else we can use something like find index that is also one way or you can use something like find where it will be returning whole object and that will be your resultant however you want it's it's up to us to write this particular logic but in my case i'll be writing something like filter so this filter will return all the ids which are matching with our users data so what i'll do is this i'll go here and now i'll use this filter data so how to use this filter data we have two conditions one is my filter data may or may not exist that means if my filter data's length is not zero that means it contains some data then this will be 
having some content so this will be an array and the length will be zero so whenever it is zero one case and in this case it will not be zero we have some data and else case that means if it is not having a proper length that means the id or the data is not found so in this case data not found so we have to cover both the cases let's try to cover that so whenever my length exists that means filter data exists i want to return some response in a json format and the response is i want to get that filter data of 0th value that is the first matched value and then i'll go with headers and i'll give the headers with content type as application slash json and this time my status will be 200 again because it's a get call and let me use status text get by id success and save this now there is a failure case where you don't find a particular user then we'll write one more response let me use a return new response and this time the response is json dot stringify of i'll be passing something like null data he don't have any data and then i'll be keeping the header as content type as application slash json but this time my status code is different so the status code is not found not found means for not four and i have something like status text as get by id not found save this now let's check this first time we have the users data so let me go here and i'll hit this send and you got the sai kumar that is nothing but the kumar and an id which is matching with two let me go with three and hit enter now you got null and you can see this is something like 404 error so you are getting a 404 not found so not only that case even we can pass so that's how you can return your response that means we have handled both the cases so we are trying to handle the both cases here we are not using this request so for that sake i can use underscore it's a recommended thing whenever you don't use a variable but that parameter is mandatory then you have to use underscore and i can remove this console so this is how you can do some set of data but we have one problem over here whatever the response you are getting you are returning that particular response as an error so even if you are passing like an error you are getting a green color over here that one we will solve in the upcoming videos don't worry about it now whenever you give an id you are getting a particular data so that's how you can use your get user by id so that's how we can easily fetch the data from our route.ts whatever we have created here i have created a dynamic id and that i dynamic id i am able to access in my route.ts by using its params so that's how you can use your get by id in next years that's it about this video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you